Hey guys, so this video is going to focus on how do we find the missing value of x when we're given a few lines and a few angles here that we need to assess and try and figure out the missing pieces here. So taking a look at the example that I have on the board here. So looking at this example here, so I notice a couple of things here. So I have these two lines going straight across, um, which are parallel lines with each other. Um, we have this line cutting through. This line is known as a transversal, and it gives us a few different situations that we can figure out based off of that, and I'll get to that in just a little bit here. The other thing that I notice is I have this triangle in the middle of all of this going on, and we know two of the angles of the triangle. Now, it's not asking us to find the missing piece here. It's asking us to find the value of this x over here. So taking a look at this example, we're going to have to use some properties of a triangle and we're going to have to use some properties of parallel lines in order to backtrack and try and figure out what the value of x for this. So the first thing I'm going to actually do is I'm going to find the missing piece of this triangle first and see what that helps me with here. So we should hopefully know that a triangle equals to 180 degrees. If we know two of the angles of a triangle, we can find the third piece just by subtracting. If all the three angles equal 180 degrees, we can subtract the two angles that we know. So we can minus the 41 and we can minus the 101. Uh, and that's going to be leave us with this third piece right over here. So uh, if we take 180 minus 41, and then minus 101, we are left with 38. So that tells me that this angle right over here is 38 degrees. So let me show you how that's going to help us figure out what x is. So let's ignore the triangle for a little bit and let's focus on this 38. We have these two parallel lines that cut across and we have our transversal that goes through. There's a few relationships that we then know based off of parallel lines uh, with a transversal cutting through. So this 38 degrees, so this is called an interior angle. And what we know about interior angles uh, in parallel line situations like this is actually that alternate interior angles are equal to each other. So alternate interior angles would be like this 38 and then the one over here. So they're alternate, they're on opposite sides, uh, but they are equal to each other. So if this angle up here is 38, this angle right here is actually 38 by alternate interior angles. And actually that's gonna help us figure out this problem because if we know that this angle here is 38, we can then use the rule of vertical angles uh, vertical angles are congruent to each other. Vertical angles equal each other. Vertical angles form when any two lines intersect. Vertical angles are the angles that are opposite each other and they're equal to each other. So this angle is opposite this angle, which means that these two are equal to each other. So if this angle is 38, that means this angle has to be 38. So that means that we know that this one here is 38, and that's all we had to figure out for this problem. Let's move on to the next example. All right, so this is what our next example looks like here. So taking a look at ex this example here, so we're told that this angle here is 35, this one is 100, but we're solving for this angle right over here. All right, so this is what we're looking to find. So let me show you how we get to that angle here. So first, I'm going to use the definition of vertical angles. So again, remember that vertical angles are opposite each other when two lines intersect. Vertical angles are congruent to each other. So I actually have vertical angles right over here. I'm taking a look at this line and this line. That means that this is a vertical angle with this one here. So if this is 35, that means this one right here also equals 35. Also, when I'm taking a look at this problem, I see that I have this triangle that forms here with all of these lines. Right? So, and a triangle equals 180 degrees. So I know that this one is 35. I know this one is 100. 
So if I take 180 degrees, subtract 35, subtract 100, I'll get this angle right over here. All right, so 180 minus 35 minus 100 is equal to what, 45? So that means this third angle within this triangle here is 45 degrees. That helps us because we're trying to find x right over here. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take a look at this line right here. If you have a straight line, a straight line is, a, is equal to 180 degrees. So if I take this straight line and let's say I take this angle right here, this angle is 180 degrees. All right, so that means x and 45 are supplementary angles with each other. They both add up to 180 degrees. So since we know that this one is 45, we can easily figure out what x is by taking 180 degrees, subtracting 45 from it, which should give us 135. So that means that x is equal to 135 degrees. Otherwise, that's it for this video.